Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Dave here. We're back with another episode of the Weekly Fix. Figured today would be a beautiful day to do this outside. Um, it's about 90 degrees, so I'm a little bit glistening. Um, but I wanted to get outside and enjoy the weather. So this week we're going to be talking about broken hip syndrome. Uh, and if you're one of those people that has been coming to me, or maybe you haven't come to me, you, just, you have lower back pain in any type of hinging motion, we're talking squatting, kettlebell swings, deadlifts, um, basically that's a loss of lower, lower core. And what I mean by that is we're reaching too far back um, with our glutes or our butts, we're thinking, you always hear that, right? Butt back and then down, um, but we're reaching too far, which means we lose the lower core and then we're creating a little divot in our lower back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna step back here. So here's a stacked, stacked hip proper, right? If I had a back squat, front squat. Um, what I mean by that hip action is we reach too far and I just broke right here. So I left, lost this core here and I created this little divot here. Now if I'm loaded and I go to squat, it's a lot of pressure right here underneath my back, okay? So in order to fix that, instead of reaching here and breaking, we want to sit there and think about sink and squeeze right here. We're gonna go straight down with it, okay? So the difference would be broken and out the back or tight and squeeze, you can see the little bit of difference, right? That's broken up the back, there's tight, my pelvis is underneath my hips, okay? Think about that in a deadlift. So if I'm going down for a deadlift, and i broken here, you can see that little shelf back there, it's creating a little divot in my low back. But if I can crunch down and squeeze that really, really tight, now I'm ready to drive. I've got my core engaged, there's no pressure in that low back. Okay, here it is broken, so I'm gonna grab that bar as I go up there, Gonna create that little pivot point. You can see it already as it kind of cranks on it. Whereas if I'm tight and I'm flat, I'm squeezing, I'm gonna drive up, and everything rises together. It takes the pressure out of the low back, okay? So think about that in a, in a kettlebell swing, any type of hinging motion of the hip. If you're getting low back pain in squatting, front squats, back squats, deadlifts, kettlebell swings, all those hinging motions, make sure, so I'd say you set up a uh, recording of yourself, set it off to the side, see if it's maybe you're just kind of breaking at the core. If that's the issue, we can teach you how to fix it. So you just kind of squeeze down and bear it. Uh, make sure that you're, you're stacking your hips. Before you squat, think about squeezing your glutes really tight. So that'd be your butt, okay? Squeeze it really tight. Um, that's gonna align your hips properly. Keep it tight and squeeze your low belly. Kind of bear down on it and use that to a full motion, okay? Fix your squat and squish your low back pain. We'll see you guys next week on the Weekly Fix.